So welcome, welcome everybody. This is Channeling Career, and today is the 26th of July, 2020. It's, um, it's good to have everybody here today, so um, welcome. And I just want to give a brief description again to, as to what's going to happen in the next hour or so. Um, I would be leading everybody into a short meditation to get myself and also get everyone else um, kind of present and a little quiet down as well. And for myself to really tune in and start to allow Kriya's energy to flow through me. So whenever the energy, Kriya's energy is um, kind of, you know, um, I would say concentrated enough or when I can feel and, and really connect to Kriya's energy, I would start channeling. And, and then it may, it may last for 15 minutes, may last for 30 minutes. So whenever the message is over, then we'll have a, uh, a brief Q&A period where I would still be connected with Kriya's energy. And if there's any questions in particular you would like to ask, then I would do my best to channel the answer for you. So let's begin. So let's just start to tune inward. Start to turn all your attention inwards to yourself. And start to just follow your own breath. And what I mean by following your own breath is just put attention on breathing. Normally, we don't give our own breathing much of a thought. But for now, just allow your attention be occupied by focusing on your breath, breathing in. And when you cannot breathe in anymore, then breathe out. And continue on following the rhythm of your own breath. Breathing in and breathing out. And at the same time, just turn all your attention inwards to your breath. And kind of just imagine following your own breath when you breathe in. You breathe in all the way, inflating your lungs. And allow your lungs to just exhale easily and effortlessly. And as you exhale, just let all the mind chatter go as well. So breathe in and breathe out. And just set the intention to connect with your heart. Move into your heart. And imagine that you can actually breathe into your heart. And as you breathe into your heart, allow your heart to expand and open up. Feel your heart expanding your physical heart and your energetic heart, both are expanding. And within your heart, within your energetic heart, choose, choose to connect from your heart to the heart of Mother Earth. Mother Earth is supporting us to have this wonderful, exciting human experience. So let's send love to Mother Earth and connect 
with Mother Earth. And as we breathe into our heart this time, imagine breathing in the love of Mother Earth as well. Mother Earth loves us unconditionally. There's nothing she will not do for us. She offers up all of Earth for us to explore, to support our experience, to provide us with food, to provide us oxygen, to provide us with playmates, provide us with other companions, whether in the animal world, whether they are winged or finned or walking on all four legs. All the beautiful varieties of different creatures on earth. So connect with all of that. Connect with our natural environment connect with who we are naturally when we are not trying to impress someone else. Connect with who we are. Our natural self, our pure, authentic being, who we truly are as spirit, living in matter as the perfect combination between spirit and matter. Not just completely spirit, but spirit and this body and nature and all the different elements and all the cosmic energies all together, co-creating, experiencing. Let us let go. Let us all, at this moment, set an intention to let go of the past. Let today be a new beginning for us to embrace who we truly are naturally, who we truly are authentically. And let us not judge ourselves. Let us not be so harsh to ourselves. Let us let go of needing to be perfect. Let us let go of needing to please other people. Let us let go of even needing to please ourselves. But instead, to let go of our own version or concept of what this self is. Because the human self is simply a fraction of our true self. Our human self is, consists of layers and layers of different programming. We have all the ideas that we have adopted, whether willingly or unwillingly, from our parents from our birth environment and then from our school environment 
And then from our work environment, from our ethnic environment, from our geographical environment, so many layers. And we, at the end of the day, we are tightly wrapped up like an onion with layers that are tightly wrapped up. And when we peel back each layer, layer after layer, and when we get to the middle of this onion, we notice that there is actually nothing. Let that be nature's way of telling us that in the end, all these layers and layers of ideas adopted from our parents, from all the different groups and collectives outside of ourselves, they actually all amount to nothing. We are truly the creator of our own reality, of our own identity. And this identity is fluid or as fluid as you allow it to be. If right now you make a choice to change who you think you are, you can. Actually, we encourage you to do that. To start to look at all those layers and layers and layers of things that you should do, of things that you should say, things that you should think, things that you should believe. Take a good look at all of those now. While you're in your heart, while you're breathing in and beating as one with your heart now, look at all those things that you have adopted, that you have somehow taken on to experience, to experiment with. Do they still resonate with you? Do you feel authentic when you're living within the structure? Or do you feel like you're trying to break out? Do you feel that you're free within yourself to be yourself? Or do you feel like you have to put on a mask? Do you feel like you have to say certain things or not say certain things? Do you feel you have to do certain things or refrain from doing certain things? How free do you feel to be your authentic, true self? This is not a rhetorical question. This is a question that you all must have asked yourself at some point. How free am I? Am I okay with this level of freedom? How free am I now with respect to where I am at my life? Do I feel that I have all the abilities and capabilities 
to create the life that I truly desire? Or do I feel that I am somehow restricted and constricted? To the degree that you feel restricted and constricted to create your life. That is how you are actually not being authentic because you are a creator. You are an individualized, a very unique and individualized aspect of the creator source, the only and ultimate create a source that you truly are. And if you search within yourself, if you feel somehow restricted and in some way feel that there is a belief that you cannot create the life that you desire, and may we suggest that it is time for you to let go of that. It's not wrong. It is a belief that you have somehow adopted that you don't have the capacity to create what you desire. But somehow the world does not support you. That's not true. That really is not true. The world supports you. And more so now than ever before now. Mother Earth supports, supports each and every one of us to start to really reach deep within and give ourselves and give ourselves permission to dream, not to dream what it is that we think we can have, but to dream whatever it is that we desire and not care whether we can or cannot have it. Because if we don't think we can have it, that's a lie. If you can conceive of something, then you can actually make it a reality. You just don't know what are the steps for you to create that yet. But all you need to do is to just know what you want, what you desire. and really breathe it in into your heart. And within your heart, live. Live as though you already have that. Feel you already have that. And any inner dialogue that tells you, who do you think you are to have that? If you hear something like that within, then I would like to suggest that you're not in your heart because your heart only knows unconditional love. Your heart only knows what your soul wants you to do. And your soul wants you to have a wonderful life, to create the most wonderful life for yourself while you're here on this playground and on every other playground that your soul may be participating in concurrently. 
that is what souls are for, is to create experiences to be, to be who our soul signature, our unique soul signature is. And there is nothing more that means nothing that will bring more joy to us than to give ourselves permission to fully express our unique soul signature. So now breathe and connect once again with that unique soul signature. No two souls has this exactly the same soul signature. Every soul is unique, just like our fingerprints. Each one has a unique fingerprint. So each one has a unique soul signature. And our job, our purpose, our true purpose, our one overarching purpose to be on earth right now in this moment is simply to express our unique soul signature. To simply be that, to live that to the fullest, to claim it, to simply Feel that so signature in our heart and then follow our heart and simply be from that space. To take action from that space. To shine our light into our world. To connect with everyone else from that space. From that space of being connected to our unique soul signature, to be without apologies, to be without shame, to be without judgment, to just be completely committed to live as that unique soul signature, to dance like a child without any awareness of other people. We are simply dancing around simply for our own joy. To be who we are without any censor. To live a part of ourselves to be completely connected to that part of who we are. There is no better purpose in life than this. If you seem to be at a loss to what your soul wants you to do, then I have already given you that. Your soul wants you to express fully from your unique soul signature. And whatever that is, it's not going to be the same for everyone. You have to find your own way. You have to give yourself permission fully, a hundred percent, to live like that to be like that, to breathe like that. To 
to let that unique soul signature to splash all over the world so that everyone, everyone in this earth will be able to feel your presence, feel your unique essence. And some may approve of you and some will not. And that's okay. You're not here to please everyone. You are here to simply be who you are 100%. So feel that. Truly connect with that part of yourself right now. And we would assist you, all of you that's listening to this, whether in this moment of now or at any time in the future to listen to this for the first time or for the thousandth time. It does not matter. We will assist you in getting connected to your unique soul signature again. And allow yourself, allow your whole body, allow each and every one of your cells to be completely saturated with your unique soul signature. To be so full of love with who you truly are. To know that heaven and earth are conspiring to allow you to experience that, to bring that forth. To have that experience while you're here in this body. That's what this body is for. It's for you to experience that part of you that you cannot see. When you can connect to your unique soul signature and experience that part of you that you cannot see, but with your senses, with all your senses while you're in this body. Experience it fully and unapologetically. Give yourself permission to experience that. To breathe it in. And start breathing more of that in. Breathing in more of who you truly are. To bring in your spirit, your essence, your soul essence, your unique soul essence. And each time you breathe in to your heart, bring more of that in. Allow your body to experience that, to truly experience who you are. And to let go of any other bodily sensation that may be distracting you from this experience. Just let it go for now, or maybe forever. But in this moment of now, allow yourself to experience the unseeable, untouchable, unique essence of who you are.
You are a powerful person. You are a powerful creator. Experience that. Allow more of who you truly are. Inhabit this vessel of yours. And anything that does not resonate with who you truly are, let it go so that more of who you truly are can reside within this beautiful vessel, this magnificent piece of technology that has been created by your cosmic parents. Allow your unique soul signature to fully initiate in this vessel this body to become cosmic again to become more adaptable to become more of its original design to be able to express who you truly are as a unique soul signature and reactivate all of those bits and pieces of codes that has been shut down It is now time to turn them back on so that you can have a full body experience of your unique soul signature. The part of you that is unknowable, unseeable, untouchable, but it can be experienced when your body, when your body's DNA is fully turned back on again, reactivated to its original design. Let all of those reactivation codes be downloaded to you and as much as your soul desires to start to recode you so that you can, your body will start to turn back into the magnificent vessel that is truly a vibrational match to your unique soul signature. No need to hurry, no need to worry. Your soul knows how to work with your body so that your DNA will only be re-initiated as quickly or as slowly as it serves you. All you have to do is just relax and allow for this to happen. 
and welcome in this unique so signature so that your soul does not need to leave your body as often that your soul would be able to be fully incorporated into your vessel so that your vessel is no longer a limitation for your unique soul signature and your body becomes the most valuable companion to your unique soul signature. So breathe it in. Allow yourself to experience your soul. Allow your body to vibrate as high as it can comfortably move into now in order to be a vibrational match to your creator soul signature. Relax, there is no struggle. Your body knows how to process the energy. Just allow your body to incorporate in the new codes and to start to unpack and to start to reinitialize and remember how it feels like to be a companion of your unique soul signature. So breathe it in. Easy does it. Relax your shoulders, relax your head, relax your whole body while you breathe in your unique soul signature. And let that soul signature inform your vessel, inform your body, and inform your DNA so that your DNA will start to respond. To the level that you're ready. So breathe in and imagine that you can breathe in from your heart and your heart will source, will pull in your unique soul signature from the top of your head, from three feet above the top of your head so that you are connected with who you truly are your highest vibration self. Let there be no interference, no blockage, nothing that comes between you 
and your highest vibration self. Nothing that comes between you and your unique soul signature. So that now your vessel can start to remember, start to recover. And start to be your companion to co-create the most magnificent life while you're here on this playground called Earth in this most exciting time when all of the cosmos and everyone in the universe is looking at everyone that is on Earth, all eyes on Earth, witnessing this transformation from being the limited body that we thought we were into this unique soul signature creator source that we truly are. And this is the journey that your soul has come here to experience. And we congratulate you and we love you for all that you have done to get here so that you're listening to this and remembering and allowing for this transformation of a century, of a millennium, of an eternity to start to unfold one breath at a time. Words cannot express how much we appreciate that you allow us to be your assistants in this process and we gladly assist you in any way that we can not just us not just Kriya not just Cryon not just Mother Earth but all of our cosmic brothers and sisters, all of creation supports one another to remember that we are source. We are the creator source. Source we are and source we are becoming. We love you. We love you so much. And we will be with you until all this process is over and done with. Until you fully remember that you are source. When we are all united together again in oneness, we love you. We love you. We love you. Thank you for allowing us to be here, to be with you, to walk with you in this moment of now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And goodbye for now. In love.